What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this quick video, I'm gonna show you how it's technically possible to install the very first beta of iOS 15 today. Yes, it is a developer beta, but if you guys wanna get your hands on it early, uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you how it's technically possible to do this today. So uh, there's three easy steps to follow. It's pretty similar to last year. If you followed my beta coverage, essentially uh, we're going to download and install the developer beta profile, uh, reboot our device, and then we can go to the settings app and download uh, the iOS 15 beta one uh, software update via an over the air update. Pretty simple, right? Now uh, here for some typical YouTube drama, Apple hit our beta coverage pretty hard last year with strikes for no apparent reason. So this year we're keeping them extra clean. Uh, this video is for demonstration purposes only and we can't provide the links to the profile. Although numerous sources host it, you can just do a quick Google. So first and foremost, these are the devices that are supported as far as the iPhone lineup goes iPad OS is also out too, and the steps are exactly the same for that. Uh, please make a backup of your data before doing this, and don't worry, we're gonna make a video explaining how to go back to iOS 14 if you don't like this update for whatever reason. So again, first step is finding that developer beta profile of iOS 15. Uh, that's the hardest step of this process, but I promise you guys it'll be well worth it. Now, uh, public betas are coming in about a month. Typically those are a little bit more stable and anyone for free can sign up for those. So if it's not a huge rush for you guys, I would almost suggest just to wait for that. But if you guys wanna get your hands on iOS 15 day one, uh, check this out. Let's go ahead and continue uh, with this demonstration. So again, find that developer beta profile either through an official developer account that's paid or by other means that you don't tell me about. Uh, when you download it in files, you can just tap to install it. We can go ahead and click close and navigate to the settings app. From here, we're just gonna tap on profile downloaded. Now I'm going to blur out quite a bit of this because again, I'm really not sure exactly what was flagged with our videos last year, but being extra safe, essentially here, we're just going to click install and install and install, agreeing to all of the terms and conditions. The second major step here again, we're going to reboot our device now when prompted to do so. And uh, now that we're back up and running, we can just go back into the settings app now, go scroll down to general software update. And in just a second, there we have it, iOS 15 developer beta ready to download and install. If it's uh, grayed out for you right here, just make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and that you have over 50% battery or just plug your iPhone in to a charging cable. Uh, once that is blue right there, we can just tap download and install. So the update has been requested. It actually looks like it's only gonna take about six minutes to download this update. This process can take some time if Apple servers are slammed. Also, it usually takes a long time to prepare the update once it's downloaded just because it is a beta build. Lastly, I forgot to say, if your uh, install doesn't start automatically, just head back into the settings app and tap on install now. Once it's downloaded, it will go ahead and verify the update and now everything else should complete automatically on its own. Uh, essentially, your phone's going to look like it's rebooting, but it will come back up with an Apple logo. You'll see a progress bar. And the next thing you'll know, you'll be on the first build of iOS 15. It's a pretty simple update process. Again, the hardest part is finding that developer beta download link, uh, which unfortunately, guys, I'm sorry to say we can't provide. But like I mentioned earlier, there's always a way to go back to iOS 14 if you wanna downgrade. We'll be working on that video soon. And when it's live, I will link it in the cards and in this video's description. Now today's video is brought to you by our good friends over at Surfshark. For sure, check out their VPN service. It's super cheap, reliable, user-friendly, and my personal go-to here on the channel. Essentially VPN secure, unsecured networks, letting you browse the internet privately and let you do a whole lot more. You can hide your internet data from your ISP, avoid ad tracking, and browse video libraries only available in other countries. My favorite thing about Surfshark is you only need one subscription to protect all of your devices. 
So if you're interested, take a look at the first link down below in this video's description. You can use promo code ICU at checkout to get 83% off and three months entirely free on us. All right, well, here comes the fun part of the video, guys. iOS 15 developer beta one has successfully been installed. Everything looks pretty similar, although there was a new splash screen at the very start of this. And since it was an update, there wasn't that many steps. I'll go ahead and go into the settings app to general about. iOS 15 has successfully been installed on my iPhone 10. From the look of it, there isn't too much new. Uh, interesting, a new magnifier uh, icon right on the home screen. There's a ton of extra quality of life features and really this isn't a feature video, but what I'm most excited about is focus where we can set custom do not disturb screens. Um, and the very last step, I guess I'll do, I'll go ahead and throw on uh, the iPhone uh, 15 wallpaper. Look at this settings app. It's actually slightly redesigned. All of these uh, areas are slightly rounded. There's probably a ton of quality of life changes like that uh, all throughout iOS 15. So I'm really excited to jump in and take a look at those, but I will go ahead and set this wallpaper real fast just so we can get a sense of what iOS 15 looks and feels like on a stock fresh install. So something like that, let's go ahead and throw on dark mode. Not go into the home app, but there we have it guys, iOS 15 fully installed. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you again so much for stopping by. I'll catch you real soon. Peace.